is going to get a general anesthesia. Now, the whole procedure takes between two and five hours. The device itself uh, consists of an external part which sits behind the ear, another part which is surgically placed underneath the skin, and then a small incision is made behind the ear through the mastoid bone into the inner ear. And through this opening, an electrode array is introduced into the cochlea. This sounds like an awful lot for a little boy to go through. I know, you would think. <laughs> but actually, the younger he is, the better the results. And we'll keep this little fella in the hospital a day or two. Yeah. So, um, what are the risks again, Joe? Well, as in any surgery, infection, and there's a slight risk of damage to the facial nerves. But implants are becoming more and more common, right? Yes, yes. But, but still, uh, about 2% of the devices fail and do have to be removed. So then there's a chance that it, could, that it won't even work. It's well, 2%. Kevin. Yes, but it could happen. Yeah. Well, statistically, yes, but the odds are very, very much in your favor. So Spike has the surgery, then what? And after a month of healing, the device is turned on. Now, typically, you know, you don't get the results immediately because it takes the brain a while to adapt. And, of course, Spike will be receiving ongoing therapy so he can learn to interpret the sounds. And the feeling now is only do one ear and we save the other in case there's some new biological treatment that's devised in the future. So, we all agree? Yes. Yes. Well, good. good. And now Dr. Norton and I would like to do some uh, pre-op tests, okay? Yeah, of course. So, you all ready, Kendall? Yeah, I'm as ready as I'm ever going to be. Good. Okay. Okay. Well, let's get kisses. Okay. Oh, boy. Okay. Yes, okay. okay. I love you. I love you, bud. Okay. We'll be right outside. I love you. Bring in that little guy. Okay. Let's do this. Oh, that's right here. Let's go do this. Hey. Hey. How's he doing? He's good. He's good. Just, I don't know, this whole thing of him going through another surgery again. Kendall Spike is a fighter. He's been through a lot worse than this. Yes, I know that. I know that we need to have the surgery done sooner rather than later, and that it's in Spike's best interest. I know all of that. But I'm his mom. What if this doesn't work? Or what if, what if we make a decision and, and it hurts him in the long run? I can't think like that. None of us can. I mean, none of us want our beautiful little boy to be going through this. None of us want to spend another second in this place. But we have to thank God that the surgery even exists. I mean, Spike could hear again. We could give him that. Nothing matters more than Spike right now. Nothing. What are you thinking? Oh, my mind is a very scary place to be these days. Well, it's my job to make it less scary. I love you. Me too. Hey. 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 I'm sorry to have to tell you this. Uh, what? What's wrong? Is something wrong? What happened? It may not be possible for Spike to have the implant surgery after all. Look, as I said, it, uh, you know, maybe just a cold uh, or an infection will determine the cause once we run that battery of tests. Okay, and then everything will be all right? Then Spike can have the cochlear implant? We're going to treat Spike with a decongestant and an anti-inflammatory. And if the fluid is not a residual effect of wait, trauma... Wait, you mean from the accident? Well, how can that be? After all this time, it I know, to... I know, I know, but it's still a possibility. But anyway, uh, hopefully, the medication will clear it all up. And then? And then we'll examine Spike again next week, and we will reopen it. Okay, all right, so um, if the fluid isn't from the infection, then is the surgery out completely? If drainage is a chronic problem, then yes, I'm sorry, but a cochlear implant is no longer an option. I 
Dating's gonna be tough. What you gotta do is gotta hang in there and keep the faith. No, it's over. It's over, so I can't have the surgery. That's not what Joe said. No, it's too late. I waited too long, Zach. This might be a setback, but it's not over. This might be. This might be a setback. This might be. I, what what am okay, I supposed to do? How, what am I supposed to do for my little boy? We are gonna be here. No, 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 I waited no, too long. No, Kendall, no. Joe called the prescription into the pharmacy, so we're gonna head down there and pick it up. We'll stay here. One step at a time, okay? This was supposed to work. The implant can still work. It should have been done when they first told us. The doctor said the sooner, the better. Don't. No, and I, I wasted so much time. I wasted so much time with that stupid quack, Dr. Hilliard. And I nearly killed Spike with the vitamins that he prescribed. That wasn't your fault. I know, but I should have just okayed the surgery from the get-go, first thing. There's one person responsible for all this, and it's not you. Greenlee. What Greenlee did to Spike, to all of us, it's like a tidal wave. And as soon as I start to relax, I get smacked down by another wave. And I'm right back to where I was when Greenlee drove her car off the road. It won't be that way forever. You're damn right it won't, because I'm stopping her. You're stopping Greenlee? Now, there's something you're not telling me? You got a plan for Greenlee? No, no, not at all. Not at all? Because it sounded like you had something. Uh, uh, revenge fantasies, that's all. Yeah, it's, it's how I sleep at night. I actually have this really good one of tying Greenlee into the back of a car and plunging it off the edge of the Grand Canyon. Don't. I will try to control myself. Seriously. Don't go after her. Zach, I won't do anything that can hurt us. I promise. Good. Okay. Mm. Greenlee will get what she deserves. How? Life has a way of making things even. Let's go home. No, I, I gotta go to Fusion. We have this huge photo shoot. The people from Craze are gonna be there, and Ava needs tons of supervision. Someone else handle it. I need to do something, Zag. Anything just to get my mind off of all of this. Okay. Don't weigh yourself off. I won't. Mm -hmm. Okay, and don't worry about me. I can handle Greenlee. Dr. Meadow, 2945. There. It wasn't so bad. No. It wasn't. It's going to make you all better. You know, trust me, OK? And you would be? You'd give me that paw. Daddy. Daddy. Yeah. I am your daddy. Dad, dad. Dad, dad. Oh. <laughs> 